Hi everyone! Thanks for watching today. We are going to make a loom knit pumpkin. I will list everything you need in this description box below and thanks for watching. We're going to start by making a slip knot. And we're going to put it on the anchor peg. And I am doubling my yarn. So there's the anchor peg and then we're going to tighten that up. And we're going to do what's called the drawstring cast on. So we'll go behind, in, in front of, behind, in front of, on each peg, alternating. Again, this is called the drawstring cast on. So you just want to slip it behind the peg and then in front of the peg. Now we're going to place the working yarn just around the loom. So we're not going to go behind or in front of, we're just going to place it right on top and then secure. So that first peg is not going to have any yarn on it for now. Then we're going to knit over where there's two strings. So see there, there's a top and a bottom, knit that over. The next one, there's just a top. So we're not going to touch that. Oops, I missed that. So if you see right there, there's not one, but here is one. So I take that and put it above. It works out to be every other strand. So there, I'm going to knit it over. Then I'm going to skip the next one and move on. And just do that the whole way around the loom. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to start my e-wrap. And on the empty peg, you'll want to make an e-wrap and just go the entire way around. Doing the little ease on each peg. This is a 24 peg loom and it's a nifty knitter. Okay, so now I'm going to take my hook and take the bottom loop over the top. Bottom over the top. And I'm going to do this the entire way around the loom. You'll want to continue doing this for about 15 to 20 rows, depending on how big you want your pumpkin to be. Mine is about 15 rows that I'm doing today. So you'll want to continue doing the E-wrap. Now we've done our rows and now we're going to take the working yarn and wrap it one and a half times around the loom and then just give it a cut. Okay, now we're going to take our darning needle and thread it. Make sure the yarn is even. And we'll start with the first peg by the anchor peg and just work your way up. Pull it through, then go to the next peg and do the same. If it seems to be stuck on the peg, just take your yarn tool and work it off the peg. That's normal. Sometimes that happens. It's nothing to worry about. And just move on to the next peg. This 
this should be a lot easier for you because the positioning is sometimes uncomfortable when I'm doing this. So I'm trying to go slow. I'm trying to get a good angle so you can see what's going on. But basically I'm just working my way up the peg here. So just work your way around. You should get into a smooth pattern. And like I said, it's really not that difficult. It's just, this is a weird angle. So it might look weird, but it's really not. So keep going and I will meet you here when I am on the last peg. Okay, so here we are at the very last peg. Once we're through this peg, the pumpkin will be off of the loom. Just place the loom down. Now we're going to pull up and tighten it. So we're just going to close the hole. So what you'll want to do is make sure this is tightened and then add the stuffing on the other side where we did our drawstring cast on. So right now we're going to work on closing this hole. So we're going to close that nice and tight and then feed the string through. And this is our drawstring cast on. We'll just take that and pop that and then it tightens but you need to add the stuffing before you tighten it up so again add the stuffing inside before you tighten it up this part here we're going to weave in and then straighten it out like that and then we'll put our stuffing in but right here we're gonna weave that in sew that into the yarn as soon as it's tight and then put your stuffing in and then we're going to sew the top. So I'm just placing the stuffing in. I don't want to put too much in because it won't close right. So get enough where it's filled but not overly filled. You want it to be able to sit by itself but not on the verge of like popping. Then this is where the drawstring string cast on comes in. So we're just going to pull it shut. So pull on that string and as you see it's just closing all by itself here. Okay, make sure it's nice and snug. Then you want to take that loose yarn here and we're going to sew it into the top. So we'll cut it and then we'll sew it right there. We're moving on to the leaf. You'll want to have green yarn and I used double stranded yarn, two, two pieces of yarn together. So we made a slip knot. Now we're going to attach it to the peg, the very first peg here on the right of the anchor peg. And we're just going to start doing an e-wrap. So we're going to move to the peg next to it. And wrap it around. We're going to have three total pegs wrapped. Now we're going to go back the other way. That first peg, we're not doing an e-wrap over it. We're just placing it in front of the peg and then wrapping it around the next peg. Then we're going to wrap, uh, knit over. Now we're doing the purl stitch. To do the purl stitch, you place the working yarn below the yarn that's on the peg. 
Then you take the yarn off the peg and put the new loop back on the peg. Then pull it tight. Then we're going to do the e-wrap. So on this one, you will e-wrap the first peg. So then knit over. Okay, we're back to the purl stitch. We're just going to make a few rows going knit, purl, knit, purl. You can make it as long as you want to make it. It's your leaf, so if you want a really long leaf, you can do a really long leaf. Um, I'm not doing a very long leaf. I, like I said, I'm only doing three or four rows of this, and then I'm going to bind it off. So again, we're just doing a few rows of the knit purl, knit purl. And then we're going to bind off. So let's see, we are e wrapping. And then we're knitting off. And now we're going to do a purl stitch. The green yarn I'm using is Karen Simply Soft, but you can use any color of green that you'd like. Doing a few rows of the E-Wrap Knit Stitch and the Purl. So again, it's the E-Wrap and the Purl. Alright, now we're going to bind off. So we're going to do the basic bind off. So I'm going to start by wrapping the first peg and knitting over and wrap the second peg and knit that over. Then I'm going to take the yarn off of the middle peg and put it on the peg to the right. Take the bottom over the top, then take that loop and put it on the peg to the left. Tighten your yarn a little. Now we're going to go to the peg to the left, knit over, take that yarn off of the peg and move it to the right. Then take the bottom over the top. Now we're just going to give this a cut and we want to leave enough yarn where we can sew our leaf onto the pumpkin. Then we're going to take Make a bigger loop and take that yarn, pull it through so we can tie it off. Just like that, just pull those tight. So there is our leaf. So now we're ready to sew the leaf onto the pumpkin. We are moving on to the stem. So we're going to go ahead and do a slip knot. We're again using two strands of yarn and we're going to attach it to the right of the anchor peg again. So place it over the peg, tighten the yarn up. Then we're going to start with an e-wrap. We're doing three pegs, then you wrap over. We're not going to do the e-wrap on the first peg going back again. So we're just going to lay the yarn on top of the third peg and then come back. Then we're going to do our knit over. So then push the yarn down. Then we're going to do a purl stitch. 
Again, it's the same as the leaf. So the same technique of the purl stitch of placing the working yarn below the yarn on the peg and pulling it out. And tighten it. Okay, that's how it looks so far. Now we're here again. We're going to do the E-wrap now on that first stitch. So it's going to be different. And take the bottom over the top. And we're back to the purl stitch. This won't be as long as the leaf because it's a stem and you can make it as long as the leaf if you'd like, but again, I'm not doing mine that way. But you're free to do it however you want. If you want a longer stem, that's fine. If not, that's fine too. This is your pumpkin. So we're back to the purl stitch. Okay, we are binding off now, so wrap the first two pegs, one, two, then we're going to take the middle off and put it to the right, pull that a little tight, take the bottom over the top, take that off the peg and move it to the left. Now we wrap the one to the left, take that off, pull it tight, then knit over. So it's basically the same exact process that we did for the leaf. We're just doing this for the stem now. We're making it fat and wide like a stem should be. So we're going to cut that off and then again we're going to take it off the peg with your tool or with your fingers whatever is easiest and then take that yarn and put it through the loop to knot it and make it secure then we'll sew that in so now we have our stem and we're going to attach it to our pumpkin So that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.